G'day folks, LJ Esquire here, coming at you like a bomb from Davao City in the Philippines. Thanks to everyone that tuned in to episode one, all the new followers. Here we are again, and as promised, I said I'd show you my accommodation, and I thought this might be a good opportunity to break down a little bit of cost of living over my time here in the Philippines. Guys, I'll be here for an entire month in this city. I've come here for business purposes. I've got a couple of Filipinos working for me online. They're content writers for one of my businesses. Vlogging on this channel is just a small thing of what I do to make an income as a traveling digital nomad. So that's why I'm here. But of course, it's a great opportunity for me to do some sightseeing, some exploring, and get to know a little bit more about the Philippines. But first, I wanna talk about something that happened just a few days ago in this very city, in this very building to me, that was very significant to my reality. It uh, perplexed me. It threw me into all kinds of shock. Guys, it was indeed an earthquake that happened just off the coast of Davao. Let me reenact the story to you of what happened on this faithful early morning. It's around 6 a.m. and I'm starting to wake. I'm slightly awake, just relaxing, and then I hear a disturbing creaking sound in the walls. I then hear a commotion of people in all the rooms surrounding me. I spring to my feet and I feel the room swaying from side to side. I hear the roof creaking. I'm shocked. I feel like the roof is about to fall down on me. It's like I could see the whole room warping and moving around me. And to be honest, in that moment, I thought it might be the end. I run out into the hallway and there are people yelling. I yell out, what do I do? What do I do? The building is still swaying from side to side. I'm feeling quite sick in my stomach like I'm about to throw up. In my mind, I'm considering to make a run for it to the ground floor. But I'm on the 17th floor and if this thing was about to go down, there's no way I'm going to make it. I'm thinking, fuck, is this the end of me? Then the building's alarm goes off very loudly and everyone starts heading for the stairwell. I'm flying down that stairwell. I call my mum and I can hear she's just waking up to take the call. As the siren is blaring over the phone, I yell, Mum, there's an earthquake. I don't know what's happening. I love you. That's the first earthquake I've ever experienced. I shat myself, man. That was fucking scary. I thought I was gonna die. Whoa. Everyone's uh, got out. Everyone looks like they're safe. I don't wanna go back in there. So of course, everyone makes it out of the building unscathed. And I'm thinking, was that all a bit too dramatic? But the reality was, in that moment, I was scared. And because I've paid for this accommodation for the entire month, well, I guess I'm gonna stay here. I would rather be in a house somewhere on the ground. I think when I come back to Davao on a second trip, I will be not staying in a high rise building. Okay, we're gonna lighten the mood now with a bit of a tour and a bit of cost of living stuff. So yeah, here's the bed as you've already seen. Um, with a, We've got quite a nice view out here actually. You can see the ocean and um, of the city below. Over here we've got air conditioning unit, side table and storage, little desk here to work on which is which is pretty handy. We've got the the big TV there which has got Netflix and uh, internet and all that. Yeah the, the Wi-Fi in the room is pretty good, it's rock solid. Um, little kitchenette, fridge freezer, microwave, little uh, dining table, you know a couple of chairs if you want to have a guest over. Enough room for the Esquire to bang out a few morning push-ups and sit-ups. Hop into the bathroom here, stock standard sort of bathroom. There you go. Okay, now I'm gonna tell you how much this apartment costs for the month, and I'm gonna go through some other general living expenses that you might expect to pay if you came to stay in Davao City for say two weeks to two months. If you were coming for longer, say six months or a year, Sure, you could get some of these costs down. I'm aware of that, um, but this might help you out. All right, this apartment cost 
24,964 pesos for the month. That includes electricity, water, and the home Wi-Fi. Next expense, my mobile phone data. On average, on a week, I'm spending about 100 to 130 pesos. So let's say about 600 for the month. Gym membership, or one month gym membership. This one cost me 1,100 pesos for the month. You can see it's quite big and spacious, pretty rough and rugged. Enough room for the Esquire to jump rope. And of course, some cute girls getting around there. The next expense, laundry per week, I'm spending 190 pesos. So for four weeks, 760. Done by the ladies down the street, wash, dry and fold. Coffee, I'm spending about 120 to 150 a day. I do have one or two days a week where I don't drink coffee. So I'm gonna average this around to 720 a week, 3000 a month, I think is pretty legit. Massage, I'm going for one massage a week. If you live in Asia, you gotta indulge in the massage. Price here is pretty good guys, better than Vietnam, cheaper, more kind of like Thailand cost, 400 for a one hour massage. So four of those, 1,600. Okay, food. Now this price I've been debating and I'm gonna go with 550 pesos a day as an average. Some days a bit higher, some days much lower. Um, I'm trying to incorporate a lot of eating at home, healthy meals made at home, because you can't live on the restaurant food here. It's just too greasy, it's not very healthy. So for the month, I say a good average cost allowance would be 16,500 pesos for the month. Now water, this is an expense. I'm buying one of these six liters every two days, drinking about three liters a day because it is hot here. So 50 pesos a day, I think is gonna cover the water. 1,500 for the month. Taxi transport. Yeah, I'm spending about 1,000 pesos a week. Sure, if you rent a motorcycle, maybe that's gonna be different. I'm just doing the taxi thing for now. Some days I'm not getting a taxi at all. I'm, I'm staying very local. If you were to understand these jeepneys, I think you could bring this cost right down, but I'm not, I'm not quite there yet, so I'm sticking to the taxis, the comfort. 4,000 for the month on transport. Okay, that's my breakdown of general costs, guys. Of course, this doesn't include all the fancy sightseeing stuff like a trip to Samuel Island, out to the waterfalls. Some of these things might cost a little bit more. This is general living in Davao City. Hope you enjoyed my breakdown. Let's head out now, take this vlog out onto the streets. This is one thing I've noticed, and it's just an observation, that uh, there's a lot of cracks in these floors. <laughs> I didn't notice before the earthquake, but that may be just because my subconscious mind is now thinking about it and aware of it. I'm seeing a lot of cracks around the building, even on the ground floor as well. This is the lobby, grand lobby of the building. Lots of security here as well, which is great. How you doing, sir? And right at the front of the building is uh, a pizza. There's a pizza shop and a 7-Eleven right there. Sandy. Okay, so last time I took you around Davao, I was uh, sort of on the on the ghetto streets. We might uh, take a little taxi to a shopping mall. Try something different today. So we get across this street here. We can uh, hop in a taxi. Hello, sir. Uh, I'd like to go to a shopping mall. What's the biggest shopping mall here? SM. SM? Yeah. SM, okay. Take me there. Guys, I have, um, I have sampled a bit of the nightlife since I've been here. Actually went out last night. Met a few Sheilas there, had a bit of fun. Esquire was uh, busting a few moves, getting, getting freaky on the dance floor, as any single man would in uh, Davao City. So, um, yeah, I can, I can confirm there's some good fun to be had here in this place. And here we are, SM City. Big shopping mall on a Saturday. Should be a bit of a buzz going down. Got the security out the front with a loaded weapon, ready to take someone's head off if they misbehave. <laughs> it's all right. 
keeps things interesting. All right, we've got a security checkpoint. Check the bag. Jeez, it's buzzing here. It is heaving. Lots of Sheilas around, jeez. All right, get the camera off your buff head, Esquire. That's what everyone said in the last video. We don't want to see you, we want to see what's around you. You've got to be respectful. You can't just stick the camera in everyone's face. I want you guys to understand that. Some bloggers do it, but for me, you know, you can't just film everyone without their consent. So that's why most of the time I keep it on my face. If people want to get in the frame with me, well, that's up to them. So what do we got in here? We got all the, you know, all the retail stuff. There you got the body shop. That's an Australian brand, I think. All the high-end stuff. Big ass food court here which is packed. I won't go in there, but I'll show you from afar. Lots of stuff in here, lots of people. Everything from uh, wings to lechon, to kebabs, to cakes, Japanese food even there. And look at this, a little slice of Vietnam. Bunch of banh mi's here, look at that. They've even got a veggie one for the Esquire. Might have to get in on that come all the way from Vietnam to the Philippines to eat Vietnam food, how about that? Price of this, obviously, a little bit higher than some other places. We're in a mall, it's uh, international food. Cutting into the, the coffee and food uh, allowance. Vietnam Robusta, for sure. Mm. Yep, nice, nicely done. Love the wrapping on this one. Looks all right, not bad, not bad. That's pretty damn good, that's pretty damn good. It's got all the OG flavors of Vietnam, the sauce, the cilantro, the pickles, it's good. Okay, I rate it. Okay, that was pretty good. Coffeeed up. What's happening here? Promoting a game. Oh uh, yeah. Your character from the game. Uh, yes, I've uh, got to you. I've got to you. you. Okay, wow, that's cool. <laughs> all right, we're all getting selfies with the Esquire. Here we go. Thank you, Ralph. Thanks, man. <laughs> Have a good day, sir. You too, you too. All right. <laughs> oh, this has been fun. Okay, see you. Bye-bye. Okay, causing a bit of a stir here. People are uh, all looking at me, but that's part of the job. G'day buddy. Uh, uh, how you doing? Hey, how about that? Yeah, I, I've been telling people watching, I, I want to meet a local expat. So um, so here we are, you're the first one uh, <laughs> the I've first met. One that actually <laughs> volunteered somehow. Yeah. Uh, you, you live here? Yes, I do. Yeah. How long have you been living here? I've been living here three years. Wow, okay. Yeah. You love it? Yeah, I do. Cool, yeah. man. Yeah, right. Because it's a lot nicer when there's some women around. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, the and ladies. My wife is, uh, is that woman. <laughs> is she? Yeah. All right, you're married? Yes. Okay, good on you. Yeah. So you got a, some kind of uh, long term visa situation? Yes, because I married a Filipino. Okay, cool. I can stay here and I have a permanent visa. To uh -huh, stay here. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I may have to pay once a year every year. Okay. But I don't have to travel in and out of the country. I don't have to do anything special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just have to be me. Okay. <laughs> Quality of life is good? Yes, it's good. It's and you're good. from the States? I'm from the United States. The United States. States. Okay, cool, mate. What do you recommend I check out while I'm here? Uh, well, the other malls are all good. Yeah. And they're good to you meet different people and different expats. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And there's four malls in the city. Uh huh. And they're all monstrous. This yeah. It's actually not the biggest. Okay. So that would be a good way. If you just want to meet the people, you know, the, the bigger malls is a good place to be. And cool. Since you're such a handsome young man, uh, you won't have any problem meeting young women. Mate, I wouldn't mind meeting a, a nice uh, English-speaking lady, yeah. The ladies I've met since I've been here, just out and about, have been uh, lovely, yeah, really friendly, really warm and friendly. Uh, yeah, what's the expat community like here? You got some mates here? Yeah, uh, I've got some Australian friends. Oh, really? And uh, Americans, Canadians. It's pretty mixed here, you know. I would say a little bit more on the American side, but not that much. A lot of Aussies here. Cool. Yeah. All right. And if they don't find a girl, they, they, they do what I call the wandering. They start going places. Oh, do they? And they have to watch out where they go because there's some places 
that are not good to go to. I could imagine. But uh, I'm I'm almost 80 years old and my wife's 43, you know. You're almost 80? Yeah. Well, mate, life must be treating you well because you're looking well. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm feeling well too. Yeah, yeah. Most expats make the mistake of uh, wanting it their way. I want yes. it to be like America. I want uh -huh, it to be like uh -huh, Australia. Uh -huh. This isn't America. This isn't no. Australia. You, this is another country. You got to embrace it. Yes, you got to enjoy the, way the it is. people. Enjoy yep. what they like. Yep. Enjoy their food. Thanks for the insights, good mate. Luck, man, yeah, good luck. Good yeah, luck. Good luck. And good on you. Yeah. yeah. Good All to right. see you too. Yeah, I'm just going to stroll around and You're show kind of people a, around. Kind of a person I admire a little bit, even though <laughs> oh, I'm older. Mate. I've, You've had some beautiful women. Hey. I don't even want to go back on all of them. Yeah, I'm still having on. fun. Just yeah, I'm still having fun. <laughs> yeah. All right, brother. Well, you take care. Okay, you good too, luck. Mate. Yeah, all you right? too. Okay. All right, that was a good wholesome interaction. I wanted to meet an expat living in the Philippines, and that guy was clearly loving life out here. He just looked so joyful and happy. So that might be some inspiration for you guys in the US or Australia or wherever it might be, if you're considering retirement out here, I think that guy was a shining example of how happy you could be in this beautiful country. And as we wander around this mall, we can see that there's a lot here, there's bakeries, there's so many restaurants. Always security everywhere here. Women and men, security, look at all these. Beautiful security ladies here on the job. Hello, hello. Look at them. Look, they've even got, even got weapons on them. Never seen so many guns in my life. Wouldn't want to try to rob the joint, I tell you. It'd be all over you. Okay, guys, I think that's going to wrap up this vlog. Leave on a positive note, feeling the buzz. Of Davao City, loving the shopping mall vibe. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. Stay tuned. I may be going to Samuel Island in the next episode. So, Samuel Island, here we come. Over and out. Say good day in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.